is an SABC News presentation. Hello, Mulweni Makaya, and I'm going to go to the Kuzo. Welcome to this week's episode of Yilungelo Lako, It's Your Right. We are broadcasting to you live on SABC One, Mzanzi, for sure. Ika malamu sisanda Jonas na njenga skelo ke kambi ngwe tuba tiza kunivulela imi ngwe bukbanani ni tabati ngwe kweba kule ngubo ya na mslanje. Lono mbolo ka loko iti 011-714-6918 oka nye ku 011-714-6919. Mwas tumele la kene SMS ngu kutu tumele ka Militi Right ku 33726. Oka news tumele li email ku consumer at sabc.co.za. Alternatively, mwas simdu endwe lo ku Facebook page yetu at yilungelo lako. Oka news tumele li tweet ku at yilungelo. The long arm of the law has finally caught up with the father who has refused to pay maintenance for her blind wife and three children. The harsh experience has left this family destitute. It was only after Ilunga Lolako's intervention that justice came their way. After four years of pain, Lungi Swamdeleni finally cried tears of joy following a victory in the Johannesburg family court this week. In case you got two thousand and eight, you could take Ben and I and eight hundred and twenty and find in you increase and you call you So I call one guy, same we are and Jane, new December and Jane, a and now come and for winter, this Sayakumachistrati, <laughs> Aga uvalum lome bonga uthe lo ilunge lo lako ngo kopa uthe lo ngale nkinga yake ezi nyange nezi ntate zizule. No gwenze uguti le nkanto lili sugumele pezu lulu daba. Uveli ili pamko manji, umanji usenzi ili esi kubo saa. Uba, uta atafunega bata lele mali 800 rand, plus ne mali ngu 1,200 rand. Eti ni eka varisha, imali le uta atasilile ngayo emba. Uba, imali kaste saibala. In Yonke, in forty five thousand six hundred. Go about Utata Uksuga two thousand and nine. Ozo Gucho, what June got twenty twelve. Imma Lebe Colota, your maintenance, thirty three thousand six hundred. Then Satibana Sayon, a mile in bar. Ukusuang, what December got two thousand and eight. Ozo Cho, what December, who could June got twenty twelve. Low mile in bar, twelve thousand. So you lend or put some some bagana as a sister and swear sends it to forty five thousand six hundred. Guess cards is a copper Lulusa Losato Logutum Zelena Gaye to Lutago. For me to come here and Jigam move on and the next cook room. It means the government is not assisting me. Paneng is a man's and Tinkala. It's Alan, we are in Kuman Gena, assisting me offline. The man is in some more twin. Two years. Either the father cannot be found or just doesn't want to comply and there's just absolutely nothing they can do. 
Loluthe lolo tenjiswa ukuti lezi zinkinga so pinde zibeko. Segui two years is kijimala. Uzo teka eteva city iyo binga pele, iyo binga pele ngi case. Because it's bisele mover to a last time guatua ongeta image straight to petro isiso agna replacement. This time, two of my document way to are expiring. The very same magistrate being not last year, he sang not this year. But I can now go for another to tell me good. I'm a document I ask every three months. The figure lines of the maintenance. So, but it's about the level of the level. As soon as you figure no eight, you can go back to my manager who's called French. I want to buy the bill of a young girl and change the paper and stolen by the bill of a young baby. Gapanzi wakupula umte tukungo dhiwa kwe zingane abaza alibazo kune mtelela emi ibe mpagatini. Izingane zingafundi skole, ezi sale mkwa kweni, ezi sewe nzisi zidaga mizwa. No mauhul menebege imte tone zingando luku kwe maloku kuse kiningu kukashwa zoga malungelo izingane. Kanti zingwa tezi kunya za kuboshwa kwa lababa nga eko ki ima liye sondlo no mazikishwa nsugu zonke izi nga luku kuboshwa kwa aboli panzi kakulu. Loku kwenziwa kunga kini iswa kwe sanja inga loyo mteto na basebe nzisana na ayo. Giuza maptelezi, wote lo ilunge lo lako, eko uli. Thanks for that positive story that was from our producer Zama Mutelezi. Now to take our discussion further, let's welcome Mlinde Lindingaye, a maintenance officer at the Johannesburg Family Court. Sipinde ke samgele no tina kunene, ye na olikwe taili chongenene miba yenza po kwa Louis and Associates Attorneys. Samgele ke no jo makume, ye no vela kusebe lezo bulungi sa Department of Justice ukucho. Lady and gentlemen, welcome to the program. I'll start with you, uh, um, Lynn Daly. Uh, this is a follow-up story. We had done the story before. It's a case study. Kamama umjeleni kangelumienwa ke for about four years now. Funana nimali for ukwanda abantu na baake. It's a positive story right now because the case has been solved. Kastra zelo ukawwa zustate usmuiselem emva ba kwenze kendo ni kanya kanya. The case kamama umjeleni kalenge go 2008. I remember it was in in September, and then it was finalized on the 19th of November, where an order was made by by the magistrate in court, and it was confirmed that Mr. Mzilian is going to pay an amount of 800 rand for the three children, and also a contribution of 1,500 rand in June and 1,500 rand in December, starting in December 2008 of which at the end of December, in fact, in December 2008, he was supposed to pay an amount of 2,300 rand. The 1,500 covers the clothing component and the 800 rand, it will cover the, the maintenance monthly. Yeah. So it happens that when he failed in 2009, then the, the applicant came to court and there was an application that was made in terms of Section 31, which is the criminal part which is dealt by the, the prosecutors. So it happens that all those years, the matter went to the summons were issued, and after the summons were issued, there were return of non services on both occasions. And it came to a situation whereby this year, they changed that particular application mm. to the section 26, which is the enforcement of a maintenance order, of which we dealt with the matter, and then we wanted all the bank statements, all the documents necessary, the affidavit, uh, and also the court order. And uh, on the 25th of July, 2012, mm. an order was granted against Mr. Mjelin, whereby he was ordered to pay an amount of 800 rand, which is the monthly maintenance, and the recovery of arrears to an amount of 1,200 rand. Mm -hmm. All in all, the money that the employer is supposed to deduct from Mr. Mdlelian's salary is an amount of 2,000 rand for the benefit of his children. All right. Um, and you know, Sifumani Sileo was that on Wednesday when this, uh, uh, this ruling came out, Utadu Mdlelian Luna, Kanga Pindabea Kona Sekot, Indo Enyan Zeleke Ngugin Kundle Ukbana Enze Ezi Nizkribo. Indonesia is a good thing. Indonesia is a good thing. Indonesia is a good 
if you may not order Mamara, a Marines, a land of Nigayens, the Badena Kangayens, I don't know if Makos was Tazel like him, Shambi, Nangasint. A good color to Sanda, Parkwen's way, a secret way in gold. Ufanele ba ulani leso skubo ngendle le fane le kile. Ku 2008 ngo November ngo 19 utata wa eko. Eso skubo senzo wa ngevu mea. Mm. Ebe fane ba yena uye wapata la ima li ngo kwa lanzle la waifu melele nga ayo. No mama ngela kresho kwenza lo wanda nubazo kulisu wa ngendle le fane le kile. Kwa nga ba uwenzo wa isi kubo inkul. Inkul la ya kutatuse la ukuba. Ukuba nga ba aukange ulande le isi kubo senkul nga le mini. Uba upata le mali ya sondro nga lenzi lifanele kile. Kufanele ukuba siti, sita ate amanyate. Ukuba sisebenza u section 26. Apo sisa uti na uba ubeko, na uba ubanga ako. Sia kwa ziba sita ate imali, si tumele, sita ate imali, emkholi ni wako. Singa kutele la, mm. si tumele, kumkreishu ba magata ate lo mali. Kende lifanele kile nga uba wene. Uye wa silela ukutini. Right. Um, according to research that has been done, uh, about 9 million children in South Africa grow up with absent fathers, and an alarming number of those fathers uh, default when it comes to child maintenance payments. How big a problem are we looking at in this country? Yes, thank you very much. Look, yes, it is possible that those are the figures, and the figures are growing. They're not stagnant. Unfortunately, we have the situation in the country wherein some of the parents, in this case, because most of the complainants in maintenance matters are mothers, in most cases, then the fathers mm. just disappear into thin air. They don't want to take responsibility. And as a result of that, we have a situation whereby children who are still growing up and need a lot of support can end up being dependent on the social grants that are issued out by the Department of Social Development. That is because their parents, as in their fathers, have since disappeared into thin air, have not taken responsibility. And if there are court orders issued against them, then you'll find a situation whereby some of the parents just, I mean, some of those fathers mm. basically do not comply. And that has tend to be a huge problem. Hence, the law was developed to ensure that there should be some remedies which we can then use to enforce compliance with maintenance orders. Hence, in this case, there was the issue of a Ganeshi order, mm. which is one way of enforcing maintenance. There are two other ways. One other way is to have a warrant of execution issued against the defaulting mm. parent. In this case, it would have been the father. And then another one, would have been that uh, criminal prosecutions would then have to be followed or instituted against the defaulting father mm -hmm. so that the amount that is outstanding can then be recovered from him. Tina, what kind of problems come through to your offices? Well, there's several problems that come through to our offices. The first one for me and the one that sticks out the most is that people need to understand and comprehend that maintenance insofar as children is for the child itself and not for any other ancillary expenses etc etc people need to be able to comprehend and understand that maintenance is a respect of the minor child or the child until the child is self-sufficient okay also, for my figure office in, for example, Sasanda, I figure kum a city maintenance yom dano na tu oye bakale maintenance court before my figure lakum. So they've already instituted the proceedings in the maintenance court. Now, chonga ma paper alum dulona utfuni maintenance yom dano na tu for an amount of twelve thousand rand, for example. Now, there's no, there's not a possibility for yom dano na tu unless, for example, there's medical difficulties, etc., etc., that a maintenance of a child at the age of two can come up to twelve thousand rand, for example. So, and in, in, so far as maintenance is concerned, in that aspect aspect as well. A mother comes into the office, as all but Joe mm -hmm. point, pointed out, and maintenance with regard to Mdana Waike. Maintenance is, is in respect of the needs of the child and the means of both parents, not just one. I want to say that the office is to maintain 6,000 rand and the maintenance is the expenses that cover 
all of the expenses of the child and her contribution is going to be zero on her own version because I want to need to understand when the maintenance officers and the magistrate deal with maintenance matters they're looking at the documentary evidence that you're producing to the court so mm. when you fill out the form then you substitute that with your bank statements etc etc the court is looking at that okay. so if they're looking at the total expenses being 5,000 Rand and you want the full 5,000 Rand the qu question the court's going to ask is what is your contribution especially if you're employed and you've got the means to do so all right for now let's take an ad break but before we do that let me remind you that you can uh, call us on our studio line and that's 011 714 6918 or visit our Facebook page, Ilungelo Lako, or can use Tumelelege, a tweet, Guet, Ilungelo. Please join us after this. Spinners come Gelera Lumbugeli, Sasuku Kaimi, Bayoklao, Lokasondra, and Malungelo, Abandwana, Nabogeba to Lukanduva, Lukuba, Oya, Oma, Maika Kulu. A coming go to Bagas of John and Emiba, Yamalungelo, Abazali, Yoba, but the Nabanduan, Emiba, a custody, Gelasem Zin. My guess arm, Linda Lindingai, Yenage, Oliko, Sal Singer, Timmy by a son, John Gunja, John and Emiba, Yazo Sapo, a Houdin, each Johannesburg family court. Sibena yake no tina kunene yena uli kweta kwen kampani ilui and associate attorneys. Sina yake no Joe Makume yena kufela kusebe lezo bulungi sa Department of Justice. Now to take part, please call us on 011-714-6918 or 714-6919 or send us an SMS. And start with the name right, go 33726. Oka nyege usundu enduwe loku Facebook page yetu ilungelo lako or send us a tweet to at ilungelo. Earlier on, Tiny, uh, Tina, sorry, you, you were talking about um, issues of mothers coming through to your offices. It's interesting to find out that at some instances you do get young people coming through to your offices. But before we touch on that, because I think it's quite an important issue, uh, let's start with this. We do have a caller on the line. Noktula, yena. Opuma, Soweto. Noktula, Hello, Noktula. Sambu yao pindas phone le kuno kutula kubaleke le kebabu kelo kubani si phone le namshanja ni chete kwenye nati kubale inkubo yeye nu. Now, uh, young people coming through to your offices, what do they say? Uh, what, in, what, what do they come in uh, and tell you um, about their problems and with regards to maintenance issues? Okay, on the odd occasion, you will obviously get the minor child themselves, i.e. I've met children between the ages of about 10 and 15 mm. who come and approach me directly and be like, yeah. In those particular cases, I cannot act on behalf of the minor child. Um, the minor child's guardian still needs to, i.e. the mother. Okay. Alternatively, a, a, somebody with a person of interest, i.e. a social worker, can actually institute maintenance proceedings on behalf of that minor child. The Maintenance Act does make provision, and so does the Children's Act, for children to be assisted either by a guardian or a family member or the mother themselves, or the parent in a particular instance. could be mm. the mother or the father, as far as the maintenance is concerned. But as far as children coming to me directly, I cannot act on behalf of a minor because they are a minor. But you do give them the information that where they can go if yes. they come through to you. We definitely do give them the information. I also give them steps as to what they can possibly do okay. and I inquire so far as where's the mother, why are you coming to me on your okay. own, etc, etc. But we need to point them in the right direction because you find a lot of the children who come themselves. So they feel like a point about umma magazal ba magatina so sanda utaki iwe and umdana ngogia bonba yaz ndonin za ukuba iskolo, I'm 15, 16, next two years abense varsity umma ma magawazo mkona di kungu uku. Alright, thank you. Unoktula ukona mbeni, unoktula umkele kile nkobeni? Yebo san bonani? Kunja ni mamu. Nkona ma. Teta kwenye nati? Yes ma. Nkalu kulu manje ngonta ngo babu sumenyan. Babu sumenyan is so surprising because now last time wa eve lile gulu ngelu lako. But when we try to call that guy by the name of sumenyan, anyegu mchole. Alright. Eplu chole, anyegu. Aga suge nje lapu because aga sumenyan. Ogo chu, nkalu kulu mango guti, mina umtanam, sengna two years. He apply le for maintenance. Right. My son is in varsity. He's doing one the four years. Umang bisela for two years, which is six or two years. I'm saying to Kugu Magistrate, says Gloria, I'm not working. But ni patala half. Ubaba aga patale half. I'm not working, but I'm saying as patale half. Last time I was sent, got you a no, no, no. The guy only the magistrate to pay to his issue. Last time they said I'm a document. Why can't they call us and say I'm a document I expire after three months? 
All right, and Goska Kulu can Octula. Maybe Mangalo go a job because in my Keke Obana they have been trying to get hold of you, but they're not getting hold of you. Okay, Yabon. I'm not getting in Giro Goop, but then even Kumbula Gashe, in Atinji, you know more in Jay and Nigeza. I want to Basakaya, be we know more in Jasepitol, Minang Sejuan is back. Okay, and Ya Kavan Jeti, Ukrainian Zopuma, Xoveli, no more, yes, office in it. Yeah, like I said, cool. I said, number zero double one double three two, yes, nine thousand. Okay, I think in a sizzle zama get a band back was okay for mana. Um, she touched on the fact that in case I can't take a shelly take a cool, a cool, and you can, you can hear the frustration in her voice. Tell me, we are going to be doing like. Go color, mama, go finally kill you, go to um to try as of when they stray. Go for never was any documents as a recent. Goba Oka, Obangaba Uti, we encourage our expenses as inje, Kenya. Sifuna Obona loan to buy inja lona. Okubangaba clan because Yago e postponi. Quea cars of Pauba, Sikela Uzuze, net documents as as in Chankuba, Kalo, Kasuka Zuguti, Quezanya and that was Pile, clam who postponed a case yak. Aguzufana Uguti, are my expenses one clam, so months for my expenses were quachin chill. A chinchil and woke finally and was for money the exact Okoza and woke is Okoza, got it in cold, it decided. Gamma expense is Allah, or to where I in care and woke. Akfanaga city in the Lulem, town business and your expenses are. You are lending out to a out a lot to I expires, acted by expires. The expenses was encouraged at the last three months. Wokum clam, quail creation clam is new killing of expenses. You are lending out of Naga, who's the Nazi resenders of Bonagas Woody in Gabag and Woko in Jacozago as New Ganga now greater Ella Gresha Bula. And Gosca Colus now in Homzamo, or Puma Apake, Houting Nomzamo, Wam Gelegil and Cobeni? Ever since since the known Kalubus, Mabuza Sissy. Since the name that he maintained, it was two thousand and nine. Diane that Tolai Kanishi saw. A condition and if woman, um, to watch Balaku Patalango March last year. So, Candia, a court, you got to a year, Gilum Seven, Zimal and Saifuman, Gulf was good. Kunyan the legal and now good in Dimfuman and Wam, because Apoca Tua, Mandim, Mandim Kanga, good to Seven Zapina. All right. And footing lagging again and cool and deny, um, dance on the eighteen of October. Nabakuzo Twanina, Galea Malan, Colotayona, beside Gutum Danapin at Kalia, called Ilandos, Amplia King. All right. And Goska cool again, um, Samo. Tina, you want to answer? Um, Samo. Okay, so Snomzamo, in so far as the fact that we are in terms of the Maintenance Act, the maintenance office is supposed to locate the person. It's not up to me now as the applicant to be running around the entire country trying to find this person. That is a responsibility embodied in the Maintenance Act and a responsibility of the maintenance officer themselves. Mm. In so far as the fact that he's not employed, as Udadum had mentioned earlier on, You've got the issue of you can use an emoluments attachment order. Okay, that's to attach the person's salary. If the person is no longer working, they obviously have movable properties. So you can proceed with a warrant of execution because the maintenance order is a court order and attach their movable assets. Insofar as the child turning 18, the Maintenance Act states that when the child becomes a major or is self sufficient, people need to take cognizance of or is self-sufficient. So if the child is 22 and they're still in varsity, they're still entitled to maintenance. So there's not necessarily a need for now the child to go and institute their own maintenance proceedings. The child is not self-sufficient and therefore the maintenance order stands. Mm. But insofar as that is concerned, she could also turn to the warrant of execution, but it's not her responsibility to be finding the respondent insofar as this matter is concerned. All right. Pamela from KZN. Pamela, I'm going to you. Pila, Kuluman, or Pamela from Newcastle, and I'm going to go to the UTI and Last year, man, the local two and boy and boy, but the next person for a local and hand is a meaning white, a good start, and go to the UTI and the situation is that. All right, and Goska Kuluke, Manse Kuekacho. Yamasi, a right. uncle show on Jeti, inking of a good purity, Lossy Sukina, Kutuanja, a high missile, a mad documents to whoever. Um teto ukona kunama maintenance investigators kwa manje. Skasho yonge nje inda. So if kuni inki nge njalo, ufanila njwa pindele nga ndolo, la akale kona, afagisi tkele so goti, in fact, ufanila njwa akele ifaile ake, mm. and then kuzo ucho nga nyukti, iku upi progress, ali talalaki. Right. And then from there, if kunama documents ufanila njwa kutu, I save you. 
as we say, we are maintenance investigators. We are panda logo. Now we are officers. We are sheriffs. Young in down, young in can't only sheriff. All right. So in can't only in the budget they calculate for those expenses. If lama documents as say view a who sheriff mm. wa kulanda. Uh, what I'm getting from this is that he complained to Puma Kupama and Yobana Kutwa Magapinda Buyele Court. The other complaint that we got was from somebody who said. Um, she was told she must look for this person herself. Uh, I'm just wondering, when people come across these things, because officials tell them to do these things, you're a maintenance officer, uh, who should they report these things to? company <laughs> Ino kandu valo kuti, la mdu kaya yeka imsebe nzini. Yazi ise mna yazi maintenance officer. Uba ngaba usejo se Johanna Speck. Kufunega le, le kamba nila pe Johanna Speck. Inda zi ise, ukuti, lo mdu ya uyeka umsebe nzini. Kule ni nyangi zayo, asezu kwa zubasi witonza le mali, umama aifumani. So umama ufanege eze kum, bam tate bam zise kum, eze maintenance officer. Mna I'm going to take steps to check ukuti, lo mdu une provident fund. Une pension, mm. okanye, kune, kune zinye nje i benefits as fanel ba uya zifumana na. Uko nze liba ndite kwa boba ndu ba laula ezo benefits. Di ba kele liba banga kwa zugu zikupa i benefits ba mnike utata. Kute kufikelele ikresha apo sikubela ukuti le mali ayikolotu mama ayipatale aze ajonge ukuti iksasa lomdana lila kubanjani na. Uko nze liba lueso sika mali aza uta asifumani. Sisebe nsa u section 30 apa, apa watasha i debts. Mm. Itetu kuti lomdu ya kolota kwa ye kukona imali ya future maintenance. Akfanele aifumanu kwenze ba umdana aza kwa azukuti kule minyagi zayo inge kafumanu msebe nzutata kukona indo aifumana right. eza uti mnaeti. Alright, chengo suka kulge. Masibuyele venglini, please stay with us. Spines kwa mgele mbugeli kwe sisikendu sisa ukeke. Si jonge mi baye custody malunge lwa bazalo kanyu mzalo chilu kwa atene umduana. Kukutazwa ke kwa kani nga bazali ni senzi sifumeluano. So kwa umduana atene umzalo chile funeka sipalwe panzi. Kwenza lwa kwa ke kaku gena mvisiswano. Kwa ikuwa zile ndu kisonjululu ukanyi kisonjululu weke lomba, lomba mbano. Ufa kalisi zimfo zako kesta lelu mga baku 011-7146918 ukanyi ku 7146919. Ukanyi ustumelele ke SMS ngukutu ustumelele kamiliti right ku 33726. Earlier on, uh, I wanted I want to, to look at uh, uh, government uh, uh, initiatives when it comes to this particular issue because it does look like there's a problem. I know in 2005 the government launched Operation Isonjo. Um, in the Western Cape, they also did uh, they did uh, uh, follow up or, or did a campaign uh, with regards to this to get defaulters to pay. Um, but with the number of complaints about the ineffectiveness and inability to bring defaulters to book, uh, standard measures been called upon. Um, what is the department doing in this regard? Thank you very much. Look, yes, in addition to the two, the Operation Isondo that you referred to, and the campaign that was embarked upon by the Western Cape in terms of coming together in partnership with the South African Police Services, so that as and when they do conduct roadblocks, they can then trace defaulters. At this juncture, that is the only province that has embarked on that particular process. And then I hope very soon other, other provinces will mm. follow suit. And then uh, over and above that, as I've indicated earlier, all the maintenance courts have since employed maintenance investigators. So these are the people who are specifically responsible for saving process, for tracing defaulters, and anything else that the complainants in maintenance cases have. But Mr. Makume, in this particular case, the state has not been able to do it. The media has not been able to do it. And it seems as if, if they had not done that, this case wouldn't have been solved even now. What pushes you? Because uh, uh, we can't, the media cannot be telling you to do your job. Yes, correct. Kwamanje, if I may just indicate that, for the previous financial year, this particular financial year, the department has embarked upon a vociferous progress process of trying to prioritize maintenance cases mm. and in such a way that maintenance 
is one of the key priorities of the department for this particular financial year. We started last year, and then we are really very serious in terms of trying to trace all defaulters so that we can then better the system because we know in most cases we have received a lot of complaints wherein complainants were basically crime foul and saying we are not doing anything or they basically uh, stay home and don't come back to court to say yes. because of the frustration that they've since gone through. Okay. Another way of doing that is that uh, all the regions at this juncture have since employed the so-called maintenance complaints managers. All the regions have that particular position filled wherein all complaints that relate to maintenance okay. can be channeled to that particular office. You'll tell us more about what these managers are going to be doing. We do have a caller on the line, Anna, from Bumalanga. Anna, welcome to the program. Yebo. Hello, Mama. Yebo, Mama. Teta Kunyenati. Mama, I'm going to ask you 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 to Nasamba mo doctor so before we should was zalo ko na zalo sa hamba mo doctor we zwa i tni a ma le tni a le na yen zwa o indo tana yam na fuze guchi i owen zale tni a e kabo lento mbazana ba la ba tu bona ba ila mar enza ko skat sa bizwa ba tu bizwa la ekot so owen zwa le tni a mar le koto le ila ba um mama lo yena uz funele yena na lento mbia guate ba funele yona le uguya la pa kwato kalo ba owen zale tni a Let's not satisfy the city. I'm going to go to the city. I'm going to the city. I'm going to go 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 to the city. I'm going when I'm from 90, 2005, figure the magic. I'm talking about Mara. I'm born as I'm born since I'm born. I'm not a I'm born. 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 I'm the gang and the other son. In the end, of Nagma Macapel. Go Kala, in the Obona Umdua. Nemalia son, those in those of Lucane. Akfuneganga abound about the Tibanis. Go by Iscalos Gama, Guba, Bonda Umdua Bang and Boni. Londo Leo, Umma, Mafnega, a children's court. Kula Poe and out at a loop at a little maintenance as our figure at Funi access and parental rights, Zak. Paya. Yoga Londole, Shuki, Imalia son, Rosa, Patala, and Wumdana, Umbun, Koba Lomdana, Nemens and Oma. I go figure and wait a question to answer your patent. E court in a lunga, Loguti, Nina, where Nam do Umta, I will sit and he called Balomdana and Guam. In a lunga, Loba, he ought a risha where Nam do talk on Balomdana and Guaco, Wa, and the Gogans were patent test. As we lay results, clapping with or confirm whether Umdana and Guaco or Ganya in Guaco. Alright, to sum it up, Mama Magayaku Children's Court, Kulabas of Manuato Con. Kunjaloma. Alright, in Koska Kulu, we do have a caller on the line, Utobeka from East London. Tobeka, I'm going to give you a company. Tobeka? Tobeka doesn't seem to be there. Uh, let's turn our focus maybe now on some of the problems that our family court, uh, family court is, ex is experiencing. Um, you come from the office. So what kind of problems, what kind of challenges is family uh, courts are facing in the country? Section 15, Ukanduva loko onja, loko onja wa kwa bantua, lukanduva la bazali. Mm. Kufuneka umza hali onja ngeendlela, akuti abonaka abona le ispaji saa kuba simeka njana. Kuba zali bubami ni umama notata, lukanduva la. And funeka kutake lendu, umdana noba umzele mchatwini, noba umzele ngapandle mchatwini, unelunge la loba enjwe, onjwe nguwe wena ungu mzali. Mm. Enye indo eba likleyo, funega kwa ziwe, kaa usia paya, mkundi. 
Auko lendo, abando ba ninzi, bando kolelo wa ukuba, kukona u 50-50. Londo mama sozo ibone na kweli pinilizwe, ba ukona 50-50. Ngoba uza kumansi wa uta ata kumani male nga pezu kwa mama. Londo iza bwona kali suba makonte nga pezu kwa mama. Oka nyufumansi muma mupata nga pezu kwa mama. Londo yenza ukutini, ukuba low pata loka kulu. Nguweza kwa zukupa imale nga pezu. Londo yenza ukutike, kuzo zonge izi, nofuneka si chonge ukuti, Oko kala umdana una kukuja, una simpati, uyasi wa kwatrik, une pata pezu kwenye kwa yake, kufunika na, 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 na siku fundi. Mm. Zonge ezo ndo, zezo na nchoo nchano zibalikile kwa si cheta nge sonu. Au cheti nge zinye izi ndo ezinga balika anga mtamu mtatu mtamu 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 the one is is food, it's clothing, it's accommodation, right. it's medical and education. Right, okay. Those are the five basic necessities for maintenance. All right, Kakul, we do have another caller on the line, Funda Konde from Gauteng. Uh, Funda Konde, welcome to the program. Yeah, <laughs> for now let's take another commercial break please join us uh, don't go away Welcome back. We are going to talk about your life. It's your right. See, Sasa Zangwake. We are going to talk about SAPC1 for sure. Remember, you can take part in the show by calling us on 011-714-6918 or 7146919 or can you get us to me like a military right go uh three three seven two six we do have our caller back with tobacco from east london tobacco i'm getting in hello sister. hello mama problem up um to an awam a way to take away a battle maintenance but you can easily in a 10 years i'm done but i'll put it as i didn't mind it because i've been seven so go and seven and in a two years in a seven but usai pata la le 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 maintaining se 400 rand. So and the as wunyan ba ba bunga gana and boba bufunega each and every year uye 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 nyusa imal because we cannot try in 2009. Naya court e Albertin because we entirely Albertin kuba yana e sevenza e Pretoria. So one talento ba pa yana kufigo kuto agasa sevenza pa yana. Can you see a pa yana 2010 apu a sevenza kona di figure isa sevenza pa yana. So and the as gengo and now I'm back to Eastern Cape. Nomdana Ulab and Funa a private school and in a mali so and yes bafunga nins in jan. All right, and goes kaku look at Tobega. Um Lindeli, let me come to you. Try to let's answer Tobega's question first and then maybe Tina you can come uh, in and answer uh, Funda Gonda's question. But let's start with Tobega's question right now. Funigens and Doni and Angu. O Tobega Okupuma Wake Alberti, never funnel bar. We are why I pay Alberti and Raz as Bau Pindela and Puma Kolu. A figure about the lel bang walk or send your locator and the Yampumakolo. In maintenance office, according to section 23, who finally Ilando in Niger's maintenance clerk instructions over a transfer that particular maintenance order and file to Eastern Cape East London. Who can say, but a figure in a figure baza to mail up a registered mail. If figure pia. Paya baza yu registered isha if umane a reference number and a young fanny on a day, Ibisa Albertin. Wabalog is out on Oba say rich star shopper, la maintenance order say ya pang wogu East London. Wogu fune wogu water the abyss from Lenda was Sebenza Kuyo, Ayo figure East London, Kwanza ba a kubege pambi. Kulendo ati ye na utring ba each and every chambi each and every year we are for increase. E wema ma kulu likulilunga la kuba uye for increase. I tell to go to London leo, Ukuba Funera Ulinda kutekpeli twelve months. Eti londo leo, kwa kukona uchinjo, 
kwindleko zakho ezihlangene nomntwana ungathi noba mhlambi i order ibiyenzwe kwinyanga ezimbini ezidlulileyo as long as uzabe una ma documents abone siba ngoku financial circumstances zami zitshintshile pertaining to lo mntwana so kufaneleke uye ize inkundla yona i decide ukuba as financial circumstances zitshintshileyo ingaba yena utata uzakwazi na ukumelana nokubhatala le mali mhlambi ukuthi uyayifuna ngoba kufuneka ujonge i question of affordability masiyenze lula le nto uma muthobe akafuneka thini ngoku kufuneka ukuba ngaba akakhange aye use ulando use use islanda kufuneka elando eze albert kuzo transfer file yakhe because kufuneka kukhona i form afanele ayigcwalisile pha ekufanele yenzwe ngolo hlobo ukwenza leba either bangakwazi ukuthi although ingeko right abacela ukuthi ndiyacela bethuna nenithathele zonke izidocuments zifanele ikleya ndiyazifake envelope ini ndihambe nazo ndiyozinikeze islanda kuba kalokiza ukuthi ixeshe elide baba ayithatha bayenze ipe registered me some abantu abaya impuma kolo nesidlango kwenza ngolo hlobo kwenza ba yonke into yakhe ikhawulez Ora chengo sika kulo tina ufunda kwenye na i i i umbuzo wa kwenye ngoko ba ifu busoi shau la le maintenance ufumani sisi balo amu mtu ana wa kwenye ngoko what is it what is it supposed to do now does he get his money back that's what he wanted to find out okay well to answer his question it would obviously be you can't turn to the maintenance court for that it's not their jurisdiction you'd have to turn and have it's actually a damages claim in respect of that is concerned but the question the court's going to ask which is something I'd also ask him as I walked into my office. Why did you not perform a paternity test? You're entitled to that. And um, insofar as that is concerned, the court will possibly look because prescription could probably fall into part the Prescription Act stating that it can only claim a maximum of three years. But that is a completely separate thing. It's a damages claim mm -hmm. and it's by means of laws of delict and not particularly insofar as maintenance is concerned. But I'll have to state why he didn't insist on a paternity test. All right. But he could always get his money back. All right. We do have Joy from Winterfeld. Joy, welcome to the program. Hello. Hello, Joy. Ache. Kunja ni mama? Kite ngweno kai? Kite ngweno mama. Ndalu stumele nje iti viyako mama kwa zi aivagali kakuse kwa ikala letu. Ok. Riki suwele kwa nikeka wanti ika muntu. Ya, kinalubu tata li maintenance koto ya rangkua. Sora ati mama? Ki ileka uripota ndata mwana. Mwana. Please switch off your, your, your TV. Okay. 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 maintenance All right. So, the reporter for maintenance for the for Okay. So, DNA test is the right. So, you have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do Una li information ka ofela etsa maisa na lentati. Kwa ya kamu kutu sanga ting. Di rezalti di tlili positif kama khutama ibiti horike na nda tuwa ngwana. Tuali hauna kamu me agadwe lao reba mwise kudi mwile kotlase. Kaba ka lao re ba sabato reba kinye keisa maintenance khata no lentati. Kama nzo amang or kabu kutu sanyan. Me ha na li toko mani za uro nda to sebeza gai. Tuwa nza wale maintenance officer. Oko koto ya kharangkua. Bona ba ta atasa di dokument se tswane ting. Ba kala prosesi ya hore maintenance investigator ai ai seri dokumenta lo di serve kwenye tati kwenye lazima zile au watoto takoto ni kata zile au mme ata maturi nto tega ofela tayi krokang jolo kabu pa kibao re diche hota mwana kapa di krokwa sangua na kitse fing hore kana kuwe ba buisa na hore mwana utenzi fuyo bugai 
a bana ro pa ibo feletse ba hore ngwana o hloka bokae khwedeng o lengwe ngo ska khole we do have pumzile on the line pumzile wa mkelekele ngobeni ya ba bonja sisi ya phile ngo sima matheta ku nyena ti ya phile a nga ba ngena ku lengwe la ma mela sisi nyene nkinga la u siswa mo wa shona ne e no mtwana umfana no munyu uputi so why wa mbo pisa for maintenance wa ngai patada wa zi wa shona so nga hamba e manyatsule na ke ngaya e court nami ngakhubeka ne maintenance yakhe so mankhubeka ne maintenance ya court ne i mean nama paper lawo kwa saya e court e court kwathi wa bizofana ngakhubeka ne support uma ingabhadala support baye bazambopha ngokuthatha advantage ukuthi umntwana umama kasekho so uthesuka lapho ke still azanga zayibhadala mahlala isikhathi esidekabi ngaphindela futhi ngayobuza bathi ke mayikhe ngindlela kuzofana ukuthi ngimganishe ngabuza iganishe into yoni banichazela ngase ngiyenza ke ngiye apply iganishe and then after um, short two years yabuya i report back ukuthi umagistrate decide ukuthi uza badala 1000 rand iganishe okay it's fine eh kutholakele ukuthi unama areas ukolodwa umntwana 14000 so now belo ke iphuma imali leyo ke so uh, a, a month later uyangifonela futhi akamfonela ufonela umntwana ukuthi anje ba amfonela ukuthi ena kuzofana ukuthi ngiyo ivala le mali le ngoba uqedile ukubhadala i ama areas lawo so mfuna ukwazi ukuthi manifika lapha nifike ngithini enginalo ilungelo lokuthi ngiye ivala nangoba umntwana usafunda ene mina ngisebenza ama peace job angina mali mina ukuthi umntwana khona manje next year ku grade 12 yendlini ngumama ngubaba abantwana bayi 4 Okay pumzile ngingosi kakhulu uh, ulindele ukuze ukwazi uyizama uphendula ke uphendula ke umbuzo wakho but for now let's take an ad break we'll be right back Welcome back and uh, we continue with our discussion on uh, uh, issues of child maintenance and besine kholesi ifumene kuma muphumzile yena we did touch on this earlier uh, but i think uh, what i'm picking up from this is that people don't have this information hence somebody would call in and ask what they should do in this particular situation but she does have rights uh, can you tell us more about that ngosi sizanga uma muphumzile zamqalela into yenye utata ukuba ngaba ugqibile ukubhadala isikolodo sakhe semaintenance ufanele nanto endele inkantolo le kwakwenziwe kuyo eso sigqibe azo amends akwenza application for e rescission yala yala garnish order but it doesn't mean ukuthi ufuneka aye kubhadala la monthly maintenance into zakwenzeka ukuthi siza ubhalileta thina eya emsebenzini ethi ugqibile ubhatala isikolodo sakhe sicela la amali yesikolodo ibe iyo eyosulwayo mm. le yenyanga nenyanga ufuneke iqhubekile ukuyibhatala apha nthile umntana ade akwazi ukuzimela ayinguwe mamuphumzile ofanele ba uyaphaya ecourt ngukuthatha ofanele aye khona apply for irrecision in terms of section 28 2 injaloma all right um another issue that has come up besibonile ku insert here to earlier abantu bekhala ngokuba i offices zenu zivalwa ngo 12 iye ibe into nengxaki okoqala mama abantu abasebenza kule ndawo kulani kuvula kuyo izicelo ze maintenance bambalwa into ebangela baba bathathe izicelo abazithathayo bazithathe kude kuyofika insimbi yeshumeni lesb after oko bazawuthini bazawuqhubeka nokwenza i-administration ukuthi zonke zazicelwa bebe zithathile bazicapturishe ekhompyutheni kwenziwe i-files ukwenza ba futhi kwenziwe amaphepha azawuphuma ahambe abize aba bantu bafunwa yinkundla ngewesicelo swalumu iyo lonto yengofumanisa ba abantu bambalwa umsebenzi omninzi iyo into ebangela ba kuthwe sihamba sihamba esiphelele kwensimbi yeshumi nesibini ukuthatha abantu enye issue ke ethe yavela yoba ku cases ezininzi i documents ziye zibe invalid uma muthe xa yechaza yena wathi it expired but the, the, the issue here is that uh, the case now must start from scratch iye ibe into ningxaki ke xa kufikelela ke lento sisanda ikho njalo ba kukhona i documents eze expiry sha akho document iye iphelele xa into enzekayo ukuthi kwenyanga ezintathu ubufikile uze nezo nezo document ufumanisa ezo documents zindala azizokwazi ukusinikeza a true reflection of your expenses zakho so ngoku sifuna i document ezizabonakalisa a true reflection ukuthi each and every month ama expenses alo mntwana athina nama expenses wakho ungumama athina 
yoke ngokulanda akutshuba iqale leqalini xa kuthwa izane documents ezintsha ukwenza lo basofumana a true reflection of what are your expenses what are the expenses of the child because basically you cannot determine ilando into ngento endala yemhlambi ya last year ngoba kalokho kufuneka uqiniseke ukuthi ingaba inyani nale into because the authenticity of the documents is very much important because it could take it seriously yeah. because it's jonga into ni sijonga ukuthi i costs zomntwana zingakanani na uzoqaphela ukuthi i costs zomntwana ngamunye ziyohluka ngoba ufumanisa umntwana une 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 needs ezohlukileyo ne requirements azifunayo so kufuneka sijonge lonto sawugqiba sijonge ne means ezizawuthi zincedisane nabantu very quickly mlindeli umntwana xa ifumana i grant uyakwazi uphinde uclaimeni i maintenance mama nzakuqalela ayikho into ethu umntwana manga ifumana i grant ngoba la mali is meant for lamta mm. ngapha nomzali ufuneka elan ethini ondle umntwana wakhe uyofumanisa ba abantu abafumana imiholo emincinci ufumanisa ba at least uye uthi umntu okhona ngaphezu kwe 3000 rand makangazi azo azosokolisa okhona ngaphezu kwe 3000 mangazi uzosokolisa ilando isosasa ngapha ya mangamsokolisa ngoba ukhona ngaphezu with regards to this issue, what would you say just to close up this, uh, this discussion? Well, what I would suggest to the members of, in hand and the members of the public, you need to understand what your rights are. You need to understand what maintenance is. And when you approach the maintenance courts, as been illustrated throughout the program, it is so important for a band by a court to be pete and my paper are relevant. So a court, right. for example, for the next day to make sure that your documentation now. are there. All right, I'm sorry about, uh, about that. We wish we can go on and on with this issue, but unfortunately, we, we have run out of time. I would like to thank our studio guests for making time to be on the show. Please join us again next week on Friday for another consumer topic of the week from half past one to half past two in the afternoon. Please tune in on the same channel on Mondays from 9.30 to 10.30. Kindly email your thoughts about this program and possible topic suggestions to consumer at sabc.co.za or send us a fax to 011-714-6420. Alternatively, catch us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. For me, Sasanda Jonas and the entire team, it's goodbye.